so I was going to uh, Home Depot to get some wood for the deck uh, I need like some wood <laughs> anyway check this out man I just rolled up and looked in this dumpster look at all this freaking plywood it's like a bunch of sheets of plywood bunch of two by sixes that are decent size I don't know what that little car thing is I need to check that out a little bit of metal in here door so man it's probably gonna be a challenge to get this freaking plywood out of here but uh it's decent plywood I um I got this one channel I watch, Chris and Holly show, and I've been watching them since I first started looking at YouTube I guess almost a year ago now. And my good buddy Chris Knippy Knipe, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think it's Knipe. I'm not sure. But I captured some of this video he put up. Cause <laughs> I was watching it and he, there was this roll up dumpster bin thing out behind, I think it was behind Lowe's, and it had, turns out there was eight full sheets of, looked like 5-H plywood in there, and it looked pressure treated, I don't know if it was or not, but he was on a project at home and he needed plywood. Um, but, uh, when he come back to get that, you know, usually if I find something like that, if I don't get it right then, I don't go home and come back and get it, because usually when I do that, somebody else has already got it. But he come back, and it had some pretty high walls on it which he could get climb over the wall and down in there. Looked like it might be five foot, six foot tall walls on that thing. But <laughs> he climbed over in there, he pulled up the side there with his trailer and everything, and he started pitching them pieces of plywood all the way over. And uh, He'd throw a couple over and get over and stack them on the trailer, and then directly he'd just start throwing them on and let them fall where they may. And there was also a bunch of two by sixes in there. It looked like they were about three, three and a half foot long. And this looked like new lumber. And he pitched all them two by sixes over. And then when he got done, he stood up there on the side and shoved down in there, and there was some a lawnmower in there and several doors look like they were still in the cartons you know like glass doors I don't know who glass or screen I don't know but they were new and but he could come back out and he's laying there uh, catching his breath And long about then, I thought, pro that's probably when it occurred to him that there was a damn door on the back of that dumpster that all he had to do was open that door up and back his trailer up to it and load that stuff, walk in there and walk straight out with the stuff. Which, that's what he did uh, once he thought about 
man, I, I was chuckling all the way through that because I'm, I'm not, I wonder how soon he's going to figure out it's a better way. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we all done dumb stuff, <laughs> and that was just one of Knippy's little deals. <laughs> uh, and I thought I'd just capture that thing and put it on my video thing. <laughs> that was so damn funny. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm just, well, I am laughing at you, but you, it's hell you'd laugh at me. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I swear, <laughs> uh, some things just tickle me <laughs> a lot when it happens. It ain't funny that he had to work all that hard getting to pissing that stuff over the top of them sides. <coughs> <coughs> but that's what he did. And so it's in this video, you got them. Uh, this is all this video is about, about Chris not thinking about opening that door and walking in that thing instead of climbing over and dive in. Like he did, there's a time to dive and there's a time not to dive, and that was definitely not a time to dive. He should have just opened the door. <laughs> oh, well, I, I love that show. I, love, I always have. Um, matter of fact, they were, I think they were the first YouTubers that I subscribed to. I'm pretty sure it is. But, um, anyway, there ain't so much other stuff right now. Them damn candles, I, I don't, I don't like can candles to me. You know, the only thing a candle's good for is to, if the lights go out and the candle's all you got, a light, then that's what they're good for. But as far as firing them suckers up just to sit around and, Pay a, you pay a premium price for them to start with, and then, of course, they've got them where they smell and all that shit. But anyway, I'm glad for them. I'm glad for them. Enjoy the video. <laughs> I, sure, I sure did. I, whoops. I think I just farted. I wonder if the microphone picked that up. <laughs> uh, that comes with old age. And that is right frequently they come. Now, how I shut that. I had to hit up Wawa and give me some breakfast first. Before I start getting to work. Man, if I would have found all this plywood before I started building my freaking, you know, covering the ports, it probably would have saved me. Yeah, probably about a hundred bucks, probably, man. So now I find all this plywood after I've already did most of the roof. So really, I only need like two or three sheets now. I think I used about what. uh Probably at least four sheets for the other part. So that would have saved me like at least 80 bucks. <laughs> Man.
Oh, yeah. oh that kicked my ass. Whew. Decided I'd kick back for a minute and check out the moon during the day. Can you see it? So I'm debating whether I should go back in this dumpster. I noticed while I was getting all this wood out, whew, there's brand new doors in here. They threw away like three brand new doors like that. It says, uh, gliding patio door. Like, those are nice, man. And then there's a lawnmower in here. It has a sticker. It's a Toro. It has a sticker on it that says no gas. I guess I should open this dumpster and grab this freaking door and lawnmower. I mean, lawnmowers are good for parts, too, you know. Even if it doesn't run. Oh, it is humid. It would have been a lot smarter just to open the freaking dumpster door when I was getting the stuff out in the first place. You know? seem like it be it can be salvaged too good this is pretty much a perfect I'm sure very expensive door and then I got I got the screen out of the other one but this one's not in very great shape it's kind of this was like a double pane you can see where it's broke and then what's up bug um, I don't, that'd be decent scrap metal. I'm pretty sure this might be aluminum. So I guess uh, maybe I should take it. There's, there's no glass in it. So there's another door too. That one looks like it's, the top's broke out of it. Ah, oh, take this pretty aluminum, I guess. Might as well. Put it in my aluminum stash. Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna park this over at Home Depot. I need a couple four by fours. So I'm gonna park out front and strap this stuff down. I gotta put my wood on it, so. Oh, shut this door. Whew. <clears throat> oh, there is more two, two by sixes. Uh, I'm not gonna take all of them. Probably should. <laughs> Uh, uh, sometimes these short ones come in handy and then sometimes they just take up room in the yard uh, some more scrap life <laughs> 